Hi guys, we are trying to come back and I am trying to do something that I have never done and something I think and I can't believe I will do vlogging in this state I am guys this is going to be a messy vlog and I don't know how long it's gonna take but I just want to see myself in this situation I just want to have a reflection look at my face look at the way things go because a lot has happened honestly and we're going to talk about that on a separate video so this is just me thinking how do I start where do I start what do I do this is just that moment in my life you got nothing to do <laughs> and you've got a lot to do but you don't know where to start tell me do you get me do you feel that way sometimes that's it so I just decided to do this random so this is my life this is my story we're going to document it it's not always perfect I have a lot at hand but I don't know how to start where to start first thing i think i will start is go and take the wash off from the machine because my daughter helped me to do it <laughs> it was oh. my body hurt because i've been sitting down at the hospital for almost two weeks at the same time i was even going to work i've not been on my bed for two weeks honestly Tonight is the first night I'm going to sleep on my bed. So please forgive me for me behaving like an old woman. So this is the work we are doing here. This work is really annoying, honestly. It is so, so, so annoying. These guys will come. Last time they come and fix one, two, three, four, or oh, five. Disappear and then come back again. Fix them. Disappear. When are they going to finish? This is the door here. When are they going to finish this? This has been on for one month, honestly. I am just fed up. Fed up of these guys, honestly. This, what would it was the, what they were doing, let me tell you guys, was this. This is just because this bat, this is the bat, it had the crack. The previous one had a crack somewhere there and the crack is causing a leakage which is going on the roof then from the roof it has a leakage on my kitchen let me take you guys out let me, let me take you guys again so show you. this is what the crack on the bath is causing it's causing a leakage on this roof and there will be a leakage as the water is leaking and it's peeling the um, paint, the roof as well. I don't know what it's called. It's peeling everything off and making it look very, very unkept. This is also part of the work. I don't know why this is going to finish. Anyway, outside that, the next thing I think, I think, by the grace of God, if the strength is within me, the power is in me, the grace is upon me, the, but everything needed is in me at this moment. I'm going to tidy that my bedroom. Meanwhile, I am off for five days because after the whole stress, while my son was at the hospital, I was still going to I was still going to work, doing my two jobs, and my main job. When he was discharged on Friday, my manager looked at me and said, Babes, you're stressed. Take some day off. Stop doing this to yourself. You know, I have got to listen because it's not a lie. Because I always fight. Fight! I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. I'm a woman. I'm a strong woman. I fight. I don't want to look at the weaknesses. I don't want to promote them. Neither do I even want to promote the handbook of the devil in my life because the devil has no power over my life. He is, or she, I don't know who the devil is, is defeated on the cross of Calvary. And the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ has given me the power to march upon serpent and scorpion and crush the demons and the serpent and all of them. Nothing of the Holy Ghost. 
fearfully and wonderfully made. So, but this one is not about priest. <laughs> it's not about preaching anywhere. It's not about Christianity anywhere. I know the Bible. I know what God says. But the Lord says, rest. Even God on the seventh day, he rested. The body say rest. It's my rest day. Right. Let's not make this vlog boring. I'll see you again. If anything happens that I want to share, I'll come back. If nothing, catch you tomorrow. It might be spend the week with me. Hello guys. Yes, today I will say I am much better than yesterday. Today is Tuesday. Nothing much, even though I wake up very uh, late. I think the kids yeah, have changed the time because the time has changed. I think this is much better. Yesterday I woke up around three o'clock-ish. Today half one. So if I'm mistaken, because I know time changed on Sunday, yes. The kids have changed the time. So which is much better today. Though I have been up doing things like getting the um Tidy in my bedroom yesterday. I couldn't do anything at all, like I did tidy people. I ended up just standing up, eating, and sleeping. That's all I did. Even I have to have a shower around 10 o'clock ish, go back to bed, turn on my diffuser just to take me more to bed. And I also spread the uh, pillow mist as well just to relax my mind and relax. They put on music. There's a wonderful music my daughter always uh, recommends that she listen. So, I have to talk this off. You guys are shouting. I'm watching Abby, Abby and family. So, we have to shut that up. So, today, guys, what we are going to do is nothing but to wash my hair today, yells, and I'm going to do cleaning, cleaning in this kitchen. And I hope you guys can see me. I'm very bad with holding the camera. So, I'm just going to do some cleaning, wash my hair, get it ready. Tomorrow I'm going to, I intend to do my hair. I want to do some braid, not less braid. Yes, I want to try that braid on my hair and see how it looks. I don't really know how much people, many people who do that braid here, but luckily you know my friend, Khadija, her salon, there's, a, there's somebody who is doing that, who, who the only person that knows how to do that. And this person come fresh all the way from africa so i think she already loved the thing you know we we, we know they carry last i must tell you people doing hair in uk they are so lazy so this one that is fresh from africa i am believing that ha, this one has our correct african hand so tomorrow i will be going there to do the hair so i'm trying i'm prep my hair trying to mask do i did the mask this is it my ayurvedic mask if you want to know how to do it i have the, i have the video for this and i will leave the link below so you see how it goes and at the same time there's a challenge i'll be using this year i put up a challenge to be using it from now to december then i will show you guys the result it gives on my natural hair so december is also around the corner so go watch that video before you see the result see how what what and what I used to do it before I come back December for the results it gives on my natural hair. I've got a letter here guys. Let's see what is written. This letter is coming from post office. Okay, important parcel invoice and information. <laughs> yes, I am expecting a parcel from Nigeria, from Africa precisely. Nigeria. Oh, who are you saying? Hey, Nigeria, you know what I mean. <laughs> You have been sent a parcel from overseas. Delivery of this parcel to you is object to payment of custom charges as detailed below rate on behalf of the HM Revenue and Customs. Did you know that? I've never for once, never in my life, gotten this before. I have been receiving items. Even recently, they did send me something and I didn't pay. What is that? What did they do different? Anybody know? let me know i don't understand this a sum of 20 pounds 85 pence no way you guys gonna take this food back what import vat eight pound 85 other zero clearance fees zero rate 12 pounds total is 20 pounds 85 pence i've never for once i don't know what happened is this a new one guys do you know anything about this i'm seriously shook about this so we can deliver your parcel as quickly as possible to you the easiest way to go do it is to go online to arrange for payment for these custom charges what 
if you pay online delivery is usually made the next working day after payment is processed you can choose to have your parcel delivered on saturday for an additional fee of 12 pounds this could be added to your total to your total when paying we will hold your parcel for 20 days after the date of this letter after which your parcel will be returned to the sender serious has anyone had this before i have never for these are happening now what is going on guys does anyone know anything about this because i am just seeing this for the first time and i will get to the bottom of it and i'm going to share my own experience did you know that wow okay let me carry on with what i'm doing today because the day is going and i will be happy to really clean the kitchen as planned clean the laundry because my laundry is really dirty it is really dirty messy look <laughs> don't come for me the bin is just full everywhere and i'm doing the wash already there's one just finished now and there are still more but i don't think i'll finish because it's winter uh this one's have this one's already was washed yesterday evening no yesterday my daughter didn't spray it so i sprayed it last night she did it on sunday and then yeah she didn't spray so i, I washed it again and sprayed it last night so i will stop for now until this is dry because it's it's cold and i don't want to have a lot of wash clothes that will be smelling here so this is all my plans wash this clean the visitors toilet as you can see that place is looking much better because i always try to leave it more better for the visitors so <laughs> you know i take care of you people more than myself that's what you see so you can see it again yes okay so that's my goal today to try and tidy everywhere and i don't know if it's dark here let's go where we will get light and i'll see you later Three strands. Guys, we are going to end this vlog today, right here. Mm. The vlog ends Daddy today. Oh. That's my hair. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's beautiful. I finished. What time? Almost 10 o'clock. 21.46. This is because I have to go. I told you guys from the beginning that I will be going for work meeting. So when I finish from the work meeting, there is traffic. I have to go and pick my son as well. So too many things. So I left here half 12 and then come back half 4. So from half 4, we just, I think by 12, half 12, we're almost quarter away of the hair. So half 4, that's when we start again and then we finish. 21.46 that is almost 10 o'clock at night so i will see you guys tomorrow where we are going to start this hair do some makeup and slay all right as you can see i am tired gotcha today guys i am going to tidy my eyebrow after having a shower i was trying to make up to do a video and start uploading the one who started uploading you know sort of giving you an update why i disappeared why the october challenge 
just stop in the middle of the whole thing you know i think you guys deserve that first before i could now put all these videos out for you so when i was doing that i noticed that my eyebrow is not tidy so i want to go and tidy my eyebrow and then yes interesting thing about this which i'm happy to take you guys along is this is my second time of going to this place to tidy my eyebrow i got the flyers posted in my house and i saw it and i saw the prices and it was like i was like wow this is interesting let me give you a go even if it's two pounds but i pray that they don't ruin my eyebrow the first day because where i used to tidy my eyebrow then normally at first they charge five pounds but i think 2018 2019 they started charging six pounds but these guys are charging two pounds to do that that's interesting and not just that where i used to go i travel far to city because i'm living off city I travel far to the city and at the same time pay too much but this one is just by the corner very close to my house and two pounds so i am saving a lot from there so if you're living around uh Anstey lodge bemolis and what's that english matters school you know where it is <laughs> you know Anstey road right yes if you're living at thomas Stain, all those areas i think you must really visit this place because they have a lot of packaging honestly and i was only that first time i went was just to tighten my eyebrow to see how the handwork is but this lady did it awesome so i'm going there for the second time i'll take you guys along maybe one day i will take the flyers again and show you guys and then you guys will decide which of the packages which of the things that she do that you want me to try and take you guys along i'll take the flyers and show you guys when i get there okay going to come here and somehow I'm struggling to if it's the place I was before but there is no harm in trial if anybody comes out if it's not the place we walk away and I don't know why they don't put something to make you know you are coming to somebody's um, business place it's challenging to really know oh is that the place because I was here once Okay. So I was trying to find if it's the place. I was looking for something to show that this is the beauty place. Right, okay. I want to do a tidy of my eyebrow. Uh, I'm busy right now. Yeah. I wouldn't be doing it like till 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, I can do it. Okay, I'll come back then. Okay. Don't worry about the camera. I'm vlogging it. And I've, I think I like the last one I did. So I just want to show that. That's, That's my nice. number. Okay. I want the bigger one that I got as a post oh. as well. Yes, please. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll Thank come you. back later then. No problem. All right. Come tomorrow morning, 10.15. Is that all right? Then come early. Yeah. At 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. So if you can come quarter to 10. All right. Quarter to 10. 9.45. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll see if I can make That's it. Because you they're following probably your hairlines, that's why. Yeah. I, I, I saw you the henna brows. Okay. Do you do wasking wasking there? Yeah. Because my friend always do it. I've never tried oh, it before. Oh, try it. In first time, it's a painful. Mm -hmm. But after you feel so nice. Believe me. First time, first one and two times is painful. Okay. But you trust me. After you won't be safe. How much is it? Twenty pound for whole even front and back really hmm. okay so that's the her original brows yeah yeah when we color up oh that's nice and it looks more full yeah it's, it's look more fuller yeah it's um i did the uh, one of the african girls as well and the hard eyebrows is quite nice look it's like your eyebrows yeah. can you see it mm -hmm. and the after that mm, looks nice they're staying like 10 days depend yeah. on your wash and everything yeah because you're oily i feel a little bit uh, oily yeah they won't start longer the dry skin they stay like longer. Two, quite longer oh, okay but if you if you want to do it on that bit yeah when you especially like people going one week on, holiday or something yeah yeah and uh, you're going like beach or anything you don't need to continue feel it mm. okay i'll try it when i'm going on holiday even before i go on holiday i'll try and see how try it goes and try but well, before even when it's yellow this used to be my favorite. I didn't, I didn't even know they have it here. 17 pounds. Next thing. 
This is bomb. This is bomb. I'm currently using this oil now. And my friend really introduced me of this skincare. Don't worry guys. We are not talking about skincare. No spending. Christmas is coming. We are saving to buy Christmas gift. I've heard about this skincare guys. From YouTuber. Is a guy. A guy. A guy, yeah. Your good skin. Calm cream. Blemish flare. And it's six pounds though. Very cheap. Very cheap. You know very hard sheep it is. You see how sheep for all skin types. That's the S for you. <laughs> so sheep. Yeah, should I? I'm going to do a vlog to try on one of these things. Oh look at that oil. I just bought that oil from TK Mass and they have a lot of their This is quite expensive. Vitamin C brightening for cheap ones. So this is me, guys. C is 17 pounds. So I'm going to buy this for 17 pounds. I would prefer to do. This is 18 pounds. Vitamin C brightening as well. Boost. I think this should be like an oil. Guys, let me know if you want me to try this. I'll be back. For now, when I'm with the kids, I don't like shopping for myself. This is another one. And if you have tried any of these things, let me know which one you think is okay. It's not. The kids are hungry. This is one of the cheapest Chinese buffet. Six pounds. Eat as much as you want. So they said they want to eat. Why did you laugh? So this is my first bowl. Puff puff and rice. Oh yeah, this is my second one. Do you know I've got West Trainer? Eating this whole lot of food. So I've got more chicken, off, off my children, the coleslaw, coleslaw. You come to chop, this is pineapple chicken, chicken, easy. That's the way children eat. And this is a matches book. Of pop. <laughs> this is the best way. Who is eating men food? Who's that? CJ is eating the men food, eating rice mixed with the whole of pop. He likes food. CJ likes rice. Hmm? No, she just likes rice. And me, I've got potato. I showed you guys. Um, salad, chicken, and that's it. And I'm full. Do you know the first thing I showed you guys? This is what is left. I don't want to eat another one. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my. <laughs> o'clock so can i take some time and go to body shop then come here okay or you want to go to tk mass and wait while i check a no, body no, shop no, no, no. check a body shop oh, let's go seven o'clock what time is it it's past seven past six we'll do quickly the end of this vlog and we are back everybody is full with massive food cheap and nice okay and i think i'm going to end this vlog 
for this day on Saturday. Thanks if you watch to the end and I will see you when I see you again.